All right. I'm hoping everything's going. Yep. Okay. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I have to figure out everything that's going. I've never had to start the <laughs> from end game. Anyway, what's up, all my Invisible Corporation friends? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome to a game that, well, pretty much a lot of you don't really know. I've been playing this game for a very long time, actually, and I'm trying to see if a lot of people want to play it again, but it seems like it has a lot of active users, as you can tell. But welcome to Wizards 101. Now what I want to do is I want to show you a couple aspects of the game that I used to play. Now first I'm going to show you the battle mode into the game and then we are going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys what I normally do. So first let's, uh, let me show you something. This is the beginning of the game. Normally you guys will start off the game here. Everyone starts off here. Right here in Golem Court. So, if you have... This is like the main area of the game. So. What do you guys do? You guys pick an element. Mines. As you know. As a pyromancer. Master. So. You come into here. You have a little bit of fun. So, this is a rank 1 enemy. I can easily destroy him. As you can tell. So. Let's do some battling. Okay. Easy, simple. As you can see, a lot of these cards are pretty self-explanatory. Got the trap cards. You got your emulation cards. Basically, these are attack cards themselves. So let me show you something. Bam, bam, bam. Not all the time will you get something that actually works. Sometimes your cards don't work and they cancel out basically what they call it is fizzling but that was a multi-hit card though if I use that on two or three more enemies it will hit all of them instead of just hitting one so fun thing <laughs> I basically almost beat the game by now now the start is random they can hit you at any point so here I'm gonna Start by giving myself a shield. I don't really have much to work with, so I'm gonna I wanna work um I'm gonna work for the front. As you can see, they're barely taking anything off my health, so they're pretty easy just to sit back and, and use against. Yeah, after very long they're gonna start doing damage, so you're always gonna wanna cover yourself. So these will cover against a Death and Myth. Alright, so let me actually do some damage. Okay, I'm gonna... This is a, one of the primary attacks that takes nothing from your mana. The mana is basically what you use to cast spells and all that. Basically, the red and blue are basically all basically for battling. The green down there is used for extraneous activities like, uh... Doing anything with your pets, fishing, you know, anything like that. So, yeah. Okay, let me take these two. One, two, back. As you see, they're rank one. Um, I'm going to go up one more floor, and I'm going to show you, I believe, a rank two. This, as you, it says, it tells you how much they do. And it contrasts here. So, this does 245 through 285 damage. So, it can do anything between that. But it doesn't go any lower. The only time it ever goes any lower is that if you're attacking them with the same, basically, element that they are. So if I attack them with a balance, that construct is a balance. I'm hitting them with thunder right now, so 245, 285. It's 280. Pretty good, not bad. Okay, we have everything in, in tow. And we get a set amount of stuff for that. So we get some gold, or we get an item. Depending. Okay. Going. Now we got rank 1 elite. Now there's several types. There's rank 1s through rank 10s I believe. And there's, you know, elites of those of both those groups. 
So you get a rank 8. That could be one level. And a rank 8 elite will be doing a lot more damage than a rank rank 8 regular. Alright, but I'm not going to keep on going through this. Um, you'll see some um, floating stuff around like this, this thing. That is health. You can grab that. And if your fill is your health meter, or it can grab if you're in like a safe area like here. Let's say if you go to um, well, don't you well? Let's say this: if you come back here into like a hub world where like all the shops are and stuff, you'll regain health over time gradually. So the red um the red floaty things are health. The blue things mana. They upgrade your mana, and also you can have some of these, which are potions that refill your health and your mana. So, use them to your discretion. But here, let me show you guys what I've built so far. This is my house that I've built in the game. I've had it for a very long time. And welcome home. This is stuff I've acquired over my, um, my tenure in the game. Either I bought them or I got them as special rewards. Like this, you can you can see I got this from basically Marleybone. It's a guardhouse. Oh yeah, I, I do got a blue dragon. That's something else. Here, let me show you guys what the blue dragon is because I do like the blue dragon. Boom. Now I'm riding the dragon. Yes. That's my mailbox, ladies and gentlemen. That's my mailbox. A little bit of a light, a little bit of an obelisk over here. Okay. Obviously, we got a railing over here. You got, you're gonna want to come down and follow the path. Oh, there's my little leprechaun. How do you tea potato? My giant life fountain here. My little gong that I got from uh, Mushu. Pretty fun thing. I bought these two. I thought they would look cool. I do have an extraneous uh, guard tower so that if someone comes onto my property, I'm, um, you know, <laughs> snipers away, basically. I do have my own well, but well, 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 it's not all there. What these things are is, uh, these are transporters to my other houses. So my Great Citadel and my Dragon's Fury. If you guys come onto my channel, you guys will see what I'm doing with this one, so... Go check that out. What's in here is my Spiral Cup. It's um, I run a tournament in the game, and uh, P at Pigswick Academy, and that's what I won. So you guys can win it too. It's part of the game, but then again, you got to be high enough level to do it, and it's extremely hard to get. So I'm happy about that. Now this is a little bench where I can just oversee my entire thing here. Pretty cool. There's a Scarab Beetle. I got that from Crocotopia. And I got a little puffer fish as a reward for a quest I did. And, uh, what's it called? The, sunk, the Sunken Palace? As you guys know, I'm a, a I'm an outdoors person. So, I have a little thing out here that I could just sit down at the at, at water's edge and just look out into the stars. Or I could sit by the campfire, roast some marshmallows, just around some lavenders, some, you know, roses and all that. Or if I really wanted to be very comfortable, I have two beds out here that I can just sleep in at any at any point. Alright, let's go over here. Another little fountain. I bought this one though. <laughs> Another little obelisk. This is a person that I kinda killed. So yeah. Don't don't screw my house. Here's another well. Well, 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 of course. This is for prisoners, and there's, there's another tomb. So when you go in here, you know, yeah, that's where, that's where I'm going. This provides the... Um, what you're hearing right now, I can basically alter the music in, in my space. So that's where I, I hide it. Okay. So let's go into my actual place. My home and my home. Oh, wait. We do have a thing on this on my channel. When the dragon is on, it's in the tower. He's live. Okay. So as you can see, all decked out for dragon links, of course. 
this is a great villain. This basically gives you missions, extraneous stuff where you guys you can go out and do random side quests if you don't want to do your main quest at the moment. So today's assignment is to get a reading by visiting this location. Good luck. Scotland Yard in Regent Square, Marleybone. Since I'm not a member just yet, I need to wait for that. Yeah, this is my fireplace where I do like to cook up everything. I have some meat stewing, so I can't show you what's inside there. That is my Grizzleheim recorder. Well, this thing. And that's providing what you're, you're hearing at the moment. Also, a house isn't a house until you have a Sunday. And these are my little fire cats. They're twins. This is a housing crafting station. Basic crafting station. My little emblems, my fire emblems on the wall. Obviously needed. These are all the other things that you use for music. So, well, the squirrels, the things up there, peppermint, a bowl. I put one behind there because I couldn't fit it. This is my bust of a Mushu head. I'm on the Wu bobble head. We got some incense in here because you got to think. Uh, Bushido. Oh. There you go, Mushu Dairy. Whole milk. Oh. Then we got... Then we got something I, I wore to my first uh, dragon fight. It, it's kind of sacred. Then up here we, we got my swords, my Sai and all that. Obviously, I, I, I love my weaponry. Then we got a, a haunted shrine. Um, I stole this. Don't worry about it. We got a little banner over here. A little... You know what? You guys don't need to worry about that. This is my flight path of destruction through Game of Thrones. Why do I have it? You know, I, I can't tell you. Okay, we're going inside here. Bam. This is my bedroom. Where I oversee everything in the cosmos. That's a good plan. This is a mannequin of my, some of my former attire. I do like that. An Atlantean uh, table over here. Some shurikens. Obviously, I need a wardrobe. I need to put some of my crap in somewhere. This is not what you think this is. This is a, I, this is a tea maker, but I use co for coffee. And so you guys know it's actually a ceremonial teapot. I'm not screwing with you guys. <laughs> a globe. We got my fire desk over here. Oh, this is my gingerbread house. I keep it up all year long. Um, <laughs> I always like taking a bite out of it. Uh, this is my bed. Um, as you can see right here. We got a good tome. We got a warm crown bed, but also on top of it, you guys can see a couple of um, these items. But I'm not gonna show you exactly what they are. The dragon secrets. As you, as you know, I always have to have a Sunday next to some of my coffee. What these plans are? You know what? I can't even tell you what those plans are. The reason why is well. You guys can kind of guess. This is how I oversee everything. I sit on my little throne and I oversee my entire kingdom here. With my little dragon over here. So I always have a spot up here. Anyway. We're going to go up here. Boom. I do have a vast library. Can you tell? <laughs> I read one book a day. Okay, this is some of the things I got. This is from Mushu, the uh, this tombstone here. Um, I stole it off a grave robber. You know, you can't do that stuff to me. He tried he tried to rob my house, and I engraved him into my building. Kind of upsetting. This thing up here on the wall, it's a bear claw. Um, it's a bear claw emblem that I got from Grizzleheim. A lot of fun. This is a ge this is a dragon geisha, geisha thing that has a flower in it. I got this from Mushu. Actually, a really cool thing. This I got from yeah Mushu. This was a Raider thing I got. <laughs> I bought this. I I got this from the anniversary um anniversary edition for Wizards 101. And that is the dragon portrait that overlooks my entire place. Kind of looks out. Like, and that's the best I can fix it. 
But here, I want to show you guys my actual gold mine. And the reason why I'm not explaining the flying pig is because it's it's a flying pig. What do you what do you expect? It's a it's a flying pig. Someone owes me three hundred dollars. Someone someone somewhere said that I'm. They're gonna give me a hundred dollars. Um, give me three hundred dollars when pigs fly. I got a flying pig. Where's my three hundred dollars? Okay, now this is a very secret area. You guys, I'm showing you guys because you guys are family here. Let me show you what I got. Now, what you guys get is that you walk down this hallway and you walk into the Hall of the Dragon. You walk, you come, you notice, and then you see it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is my gold storage. This is every. This is from everything I've ever done. These things are filled with gems, items, stashes, crates, and everything of the sort. And obviously, up top we have my fat laser dragon that needs to get off his behind and help me. Oh, hey, Pixie. Yeah, I still think I still think about from Peter Pan, so that's why he's here. And um, what's with the mummified alligator? You guys just guess are as, as, as good as mine. Okay. Also, we have a Drake egg. There's a reason why he's down here. He needs to be in a very cautious environment. That's why he's here. And overlooking him is a great dragon statue. Oh, it's okay. Over here we have an obelisk I stole from um, Mushu. And also, um, I killed Thor. I, I, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I, I, I killed Thor. I, I am the sole owner of Mjolnir now. Come and get me as guardians. Okay, but that's it for my house tour. Um, if you guys want to see any of my other houses, which is the dra which are the Dragon's Fjord and the Great Citadel, you guys can go check them out on my channel. And I'll leave a link in the description down below. All you gotta do is look for the playlist of Wizards 101 and I promise you, you'll find it. So I would suggest go checking that out if you guys like what you see here. Also, this game is very fun. It's free to play. But if you guys want to play any any of the other worlds, like let me show you before we go. If you guys want to play in any of the worlds, this is where I've gone. I, so you guys know I'm not screwing with you when I'm, when I'm belting out those names. Krakatopia, Marleybone, Mushu, Dragonspire, Grizzleheim, Wisteria. If you guys want to play in any of these um, those other worlds or go very far in the other worlds, you're going to need to pay like, what, $9.99? $10? Which is actually a, not a bad price to pay for a giant a multi multiplayer online game. So... If you guys want to come and join the dragon? Join the dragon army over here. I would say go check out my channel. And if you guys want to play the game, then all you gotta do is go to the go to the Wizards 101 website. I have a download function or an install function that, that you can use, and just install it, run it, and just make an account, and just have a lot of fun. I've been playing this for years. I still haven't beaten it. Things hard, things are challenging, and I can guarantee you that you guys ha will have a lot of fun just going through the worlds, figuring out everything, trying new things. Because this game has a lot of things uh, attached to it, and it's something that I, admittedly, as a an MMORPG player, actually enjoy. I know it's like you guys can say, oh, it's a kid game, it's a kid game, it's a kid game. I know a lot of people, like a good amount of my friends who have played this game and thoroughly enjoyed the game. You know what I mean? It, it's from, it's what? 14 and up? Because it does have a battling system in it. The game is fun, but I didn't see Rush onto this a long time ago after mm, Fusion Fall collapsed. So, which is another game I want to go back into playing. 
So, you guys want to play this and, and you like what you see here? By all means, come and join. But anyway, that's it from, from Dream Dragon Plays today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I gotta get out of here because I have a couple things I need to get done. So, hope you guys enjoy what you see here. But if you guys have any comments, please leave them down in the comments below. We always like to read them and we always like to hear some feedback for you guys. And me, too, and KRS in the background, we are working on a couple other things specifically for you guys. So, what is it? I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not at fault to say, but we'll come out and tell you guys when we're ready. Anyway, thank you for watching Damien Dragon Plays. If you guys want to see any of my other ones, there's a playlist on the webpage. So go click that and see some of my other stuff like Need for Speed that I've played, Paladins. So go check them out. If you guys have any other games that you guys want to see me play for PlayStation 4, or if you guys want to see one of my series come to the channel that I've done on my channel, please let me know. Leave us a comment, and I'm pretty sure Tui or Tui Chaos or Dave will direct it at me, and I can I can make that wish come true. So anyway, good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragon things back inside the world of Wizards 101. Hope you guys enjoyed today, and I'll see you guys next time for some more in Dragon Action. Peace!